Hello and welcome to Overcrowd Guide. As you can see, this is a mess, an absolute mess. So if you do not follow the tips I'm going to show you guys, this is what happens. It gets littered with people, you get zero reputation, you lose on your first day. So I even have the best of technologies and it doesn't even help. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do. Let's get straight to the guys, the tips. I am using a new network so I am probably starting out with the same thing you, you guys are also starting out with. I chose a, an area that's not too crowded. I don't think it is. But this is what you start with. You get one platform, you get one fence. I think it's not one fence, but one platform. A couple of co common things. You will expand upon them. S just when you're starting out, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same or they randomly proceed or if it's procedure generated, but if it is exactly the same, as you can see, there is two entrance this entrance and this entrance. You might be thinking, who? Oh, this entrance seems to be a lot closer to this one, so I might as well build it. But don't. You have to think for the long run. If you want to build two tracks, this one, this water slash, I don't know, bricks kind of side, will probably be your limiting factor. And this one, if you are intending on building this, let me try building it. And if it's like this, or something close to that, or maybe you do it like this one, or something connecting like this, uh, building uh, turnstiles, turnstiles are this ones, the turnstiles, building turnstiles, uh, building ticket machines, and building fences will be much much more expensive than usual. That is why I recommend doing it somewhere you have more space, no limiting factor like this one, probably not having this one as a parallel to the entrance because that's going to be a big pain in the backside. We are not going to build it from this side at all. Let's remove that one. My recommended place will be this one, the one which you will have a perpendicular. It will be a lot easier to build. And even if you think this is a long one, like if I'm, if I'm going to build this, it's going to be like it's going to cost me a, a lot just to combine this two. Don't worry. You could sell the one you already given. So I'm not going to be using this at all. I'm going to be using the other track. I am going to be using this track. It's asked me to build only one platform and one entrance, so I don't even have to worry about this. So I can expand upon this one by not, no, let's not sell this. Let's expand, please. Connect easily to this football. As you can see, it changes entirely. I only need to focus on this one and this entrance. So when you first focus, this is tip number one. The first focus you have to do is focus on the entrance because you only have 12,000 bucks and it runs out fast and to focus on the entrance just build a par just build a straight line like this one build the entrance and see how you could try to minimize the cost where's my entrance now I have already built my entrance now what you try to do is try to minimize the cost while thinking about the amount of people that are probably coming in the best way I think is to create a bottleneck. So I'm going to, where is my turnstiles? My turnstiles, they require quite a big room. So I'm going to build one right here and another one. Let me expand it a bit. Let me expand it like this. Another one, where is my turnstile? Will be next to it. So this will be the entrance as, as you can see i didn't use extra fences no need so i spend money on entrances so you might be wondering where you're gonna place the ticket because people have to buy the ticket and come in to do so and to actually not get a lot of crowd of people you expand upon this you expand upon this left and right and add your ticket machine right there as you can see, we did not spend quite a lot of money at this point. We still got a lot of things left to do. So we got the first is turnstiles check, the ticket machine is check, 
The other one is light. So I think it's given light, right? No. The light is given to you guys after you open up and try to buy the with your funds. The first thing I recommend this will be the first thing you buy with your bonds, which is be light. Uh, which is right here. Oh wait, we already got two bonds. So let's go and buy some lights. Lights is very important. Lights and benches, but we can't buy it now. They just hate gloomy. Like the, the rating drops so fast. So get a light in as fast as you can. This will be beneficial. Now we got this one in. We got this one in. We can't buy the seat because we don't have any enough bonds. Then it is a track. The track is quite simple. Just build a track. It costs us whatever it costs us. Align the areas like you probably have gone through the tutorial at this point. Which is probably easy. Let me explain a bit on this. Because it feels like it's gonna be a little bit crowded if we don't expand it. And this one. If you're just starting out, this one is just a waste. You could sell it at the beginning so that you could actually get a couple of money. So some extra cash won't hurt. So I've done a little bit different expanded this way so that the next priority after you build the track and before you open up the shop, because I think you can open up now. Uh, let me see. What you need to do, after I have to align this right. As you can see, you need power to open. That is utility. You need utility, you need tools, which can be built in the infrastructure. That has a second priority. You need to think about utility. Utility, if you build somewhere, let's say you build it around here. Let's say you build it around here. When you want to expand, you won't have enough room. And let me tell you, you will expand. You will be forced to expand no matter what. So you have to think ahead. Think how I could expand, how could I get a limited expansion. Uh, I'm thinking a way to expand it sideways. So whatever I need, I'm going to... I'm gonna be able to expand it sideways. Always build a utility by three widths with whatever the lengths you want, but always try to make it as three. So that's by far the perfect one, I would say. The same with the I mean, with the tool one, three by whatever lengths you want. Now, if if anything, if I want to expand on anything, I can just keep on building up to here. And that is rare to build up to here, but if you lock yourself out like this one, you're gonna to have to build another one. Or you're gonna lose. You're you're just gonna lose. Uh, let's start. And the utility, what you need is a simple generator would do. I would try to build as much as your money can allow it. Three is good. Don't forget the the barrels. One barrel is enough for this one. So let's open up. The the moment you open up, go to staff. You need staff. You need staff pronto. Hire the cheapest staff you can think of. Let me pause this. Hire the cheapest one because you won't really matter now. So it will probably be expensive later on. So just try to hire the cheapest one, which is this one. I'm just gonna hire it. Actually, I do think two would be great, but if you don't want to spend your money now, it's fine. I'm gonna go with two. And that's when you just wait. They, they aren't gonna do anything now because they don't have literally no tools. You could buy one tool if you want. I prefer you buy the litter picker. The litter picker is the one you need. But at this point, that's it. You open up the station. Let's go to priority number four. The priority number three was the staff. But before that, people seem to don't like 10 bucks. I have found through experimenting that 7 is a great, great price, but you could go with 8. If you're literally running out of money, go with 8. I'm gonna go with 7 now, because I don't want people to be angry at me. What we need is first go to facility. What we need is bench and bins. Bench and bins... <laughs> bench and bins. Benches and bins are your priority. Get a bench, get a bin. They are... People don't like things... They just like bins, I don't know why. They just want bins. Or they get pissed off. I think that's for everyone. So get the benches on, get the get the bins probably everywhere you can. So we got four bonds. Let's go to the tools. If 
you're asking me which tools are necessary, the litter picker and the jerry can, because you, know, you might run out of fuel. Uh, if you don't have plan, don't go for the water can. This might help, but it's not a requirement. Things will break down, so go for the toolkit. And let's build it right now. Let's build the tools right here. The reason I go for three, I mean when I mean the width is you could build one right here, and the other one parallel to it without no conflict. So yeah, at least now they can get started working. If you don't, you could add their priorities like this, which is easy. Now we have encountered another problem. This problem you probably encounter early on in the game if you don't have enough bins and that is fume. Fume is a very terrible thing. So we already got four and let's go to utilities. Other than wheelbarrows, and I mean the fuel and the generator, you need wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows will get rid of all the trash. Uh, the litter pickers will pick out the trash and they'll put it in the wheelbarrow. I did a separate video on how to clear the fume, so this is just a little thing. So the moment I act I do this, they will start picking that out and putting it there. So they will be like, oh, oh, sorry guys. Sorry guys, you can go in now. So many people now. This is like so many people, but... How do you expand upon it? The, the, easy, the simplest way is just to add more carriage. That's just two carriage one. But uh, you cannot expand upon it while it is daylight. So you have to wait until the next day come in. So we just gotta wait. We gotta wait until this hit 23. And the day ends. The day ended. Uh, we started with 60 something percent. Now we are 27. You might be panicking and worrying. Don't worry. The number goes up, and the best way to know what they don't like, what they want, is here. It says litter. The reason this was increasing was because of the wheelbarrow. We added a wheelbarrow. No problem. Overcrowdedness, we need more space. And it's very easy to get more space. You just need to go to the procedurement, go to the facility, get a footbridge. You definitely need this early on in the game. Then you just build it right there. Can I build it now? Yeah. You just build it right there. Voila, you expanded upon everything, literally expanded. Now you could build the biggest whatever you want. You could build it as wide as you want, as big as you want. And now it's a lot, lot less crowded. It becomes a lot less crowded. I have money, enough money to expand. To expand the track, to expand the utility. The best thing is to expand the track so that we could at least get a maximum of two carriages. So that's right there. Now, now we can get two carriages in. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. More, more, more space. So, since you expanded, try to align the platform correctly. I misaligned the first time around, so sorry about that. But this is this. Will, they'll probably be satisfied with this one. Let's check the other reports. They say the bad shopping rage. Try to get a newspaper stand. Uh, tired. Uh, nothing we could do. The fume, we got rid of that one. Litter and overcrowdedness seems to be the last time's problem. We'll see what next day brings us. But I don't know if this is because this is the first area or something, but every time, every five or six, I don't, I, I don't know if it's five or six, but every five or six kind of uh, days, you know, intervals, there will be situation scenarios like there will be flus, there will be crime waves. There will be different stuff, so try to get prepared for that, like more, tr if there's a litter, you know, increase, add more trash cans, there's crime, there's a crime, so there's surveillance and tasers and stuff like that. This game is complex, so you gotta keep up on what is there, the report is your friend, keep track of it, litter, overcrowded, try to decrease those, check the next day, how is it, got better, got worse. That's, just, that's how you do it. That's how we do it. You can go for the optional ones. They give you money if you're if you're literally running out of money. But I do not worry about that much. Uh, if if I manage to get the uh, money, I'll be it'll be great. But if not, not priority. They're optionals for a reason. But yeah, that is my guide on overcrowd. I hope this was useful. Uh, if if you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. 
Uh, if you have any questions, put it down below. I'll do a video on it. And until next time.